Hi, Lou here, and the question today is, how do you make something that would normally be called a war game feel less like a war game? Well, the first thing to do is don't call it a war game. That word will put off a lot of people who would actually play a conflict game if they didn't think of it as a war game first. So, um, historical representation, historical conflict representation, you can think of words other than war game and use those. The second thing is probably don't use dice because war games are associated with a lot of dice rolling, whereas many people who play non-war games, for example, Euro-style games, have, at least in the past, maybe not so much today, been accustomed to games where there are no overt chance mechanisms or the overt chance mechanism is not as much in your face because it's a deck of cards rather than dice. Now, of course, you can use cards to re resolve combat. You can um, also have deterministic combat. And probably deterministic combat is going to be the thing that makes it feel less like a war game than anything else. Now, another thing is to use cards because while there are categories of war games, for example, card-driven games that use cards, an awful lot of war games don't use cards. My Game Britannia, for example, doesn't use cards. And there are lots and lots of war games and lots and lots of tr traditional classic two-player games like chess and checkers and go that don't use cards. So... If your game doesn't use cards, it may feel, or does use cards, pardon me, it will feel less like a war game. Another thing to do would be to reduce the emphasis on maneuver. Now, war is all about maneuver and spatial relationships, geospatial relationships. You can't really depict most conflicts without having maneuver and geospatial relationships. So if you can take some or most of that out of the game, it will feel less like a war game. I'm put in mind of a game that I just uh, watched a review of not long ago, W1815, about the Battle of Waterloo. But it's a very simple, very limited game, plays in about 15 minutes. And while it uses dice, the board only depicts the units and their strength, and there is no maneuver at all. The cards in the game let you act as though you were attacking somewhere, but the units aren't actually moved on the map. Now, the last thing here would be, if you're depicting a war and wars have economies, make sure the economy is very simple. And that might make it feel less like a war game than a complex economy like even in Axis and Allies, where you have the have to keep track of the ICs and you have lots of different units to pick from and they take time to build and so on and so forth. So those are some ideas. I'm sure that uh, you can think of others, but they should make the game feel less like a traditional hex encounter war games ghetto game. Thanks for listening.